Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Some very sad news indeed. Um, former British uh, Commonwealth and EU champ. Uh, I think he also held a minor version of the world title, the WBU, I think. Willie Limond, a uh, Scottish fighter, has passed away at the very young age of 45. Um, he had a seizure last last week, I think it was. He was in hospital and he stayed there until his passing today. Um very, very sad news. What can you say? He was actually, even though he was 45 years of, of age, and he last fought in last year against Ricky Burns, got stopped in eight rounds. He was actually, he had a, he had a proposed fight with um, Joe Laws uh, scheduled. So he hadn't really retired. And he'd been inactive in recent years. Um, I think he didn't fight in from 2020 to 2021. I think 2022, he had a little comeback. The fight with Burns in 2023, uh, there was a gap, I think, between 2017, 2018, he didn't fight. So he was sort of semi-retired for like the last, probably the last eight years. Um, but he, bear in mind, he turned pro in 1999. Um, and his first defeat was actually a British title challenge to Alex Arthur, who was a WBO super featherweight champ. At the time, he was the British champ. He stopped Willie in eight rounds, but Willie came back, um, won the, the EU, I think it was the EU title, not the EBU title. I might be wrong about that, actually. But there is a, a version, an EU title, which is like a secondary European title. Uh, he won that, though. Um, good comeback. Went on a string of, of uh, victories, actually picked up the Commonwealth title against Joshua uh, Alate in 2006. Um, and... Then he fought Amir Khan in 2007. I mean, we're going back. Jeez, we're going back you know, a long time, 17 years. Um, hard to believe. But he got stopped in eight rounds, but he did put Khan on the floor in the sixth round. So this is how good this guy was. He was a very good domestic, you know, European-level fighter, maybe. Um, he then had another string of victories, picked up, I think it was the WBU title against I don't know, Ryan Barrett, I think it was, but I can't remember exactly. And I fought ha Harry... Ram Ramagadi. Anyway, he picked up the one of these light, lighter versions of the world title, um, and then he fought Eric Morales. Amazingly, over in Mexico, got stopped in six rounds. Uh, it was body shots that did him. What else from a brilliant Mexican like Eric Morales? Um, lost a twelve round. Uh, decision to to uh, Anthony Crawler. That was for the lightweight title. He moved up from from Super Feather. I think he actually won his WBU world title at lightweight as well. But he lost to Anthony Crawler at lightweight. That was a British title challenge. He went the distance, and then he eventually beat Eddie Doyle for the Commonwealth uh, Super Lightweight title. Um, so he's actually a, a two weight Commonwealth champ. But that British title. Um, he finally reached the top of the mountain in 2014 when he fought Curtis Woodhouse, the former footballer, pro footballer, premiership footballer. And Curtis was the champ. And um, Willie had him on the floor, I think, in the third round and in the 11th. And then he won a majority decision, which really should have been, no disrespect to Curtis, but it should have been a, major, uh, a unanimous decision. And finally, finally, Willie Lemond was the British champ. So he's a two-weight Commonwealth champ. Um, an EU champ, a European champ, and a British champ. Not a bad little haul for a career. Um, bear in mind, he picked up that that win over uh, Curtis Woodhouse, you know, um, 15 years after he turned pro. So he, it took him 15 years to become British champ. Uh, he lost it to Tyrone Nurse on a ninth round stoppage. And then he went into that, so that was in 2016. Then he went into that sort of semi-retirement thing where he'd fight very occasionally against journeymen like William Warburton, CJ Wood. Um, and then last year he had the Burns fight, got stopped in eight. But, you know, a terrific fighter, finishes with 42 wins, only 13 KOs, light puncher, six stoppages, uh, six defeats and five were stoppages. So he was kind of a kill or be kill guy. Um, but he had a nice little, he won a few belts and his family and his son, who is also a pro at the moment, um, they actually fought on the same card, father and son. Um, yeah, it's very sad. They can be proud of him, though, his family and boxing should be proud of him because he was a terrific competitor. Only 45 years old, Christ. Oh, that makes me feel old. Um, but yeah, rest in peace, Willie Lemon. Rest in peace, mate. And thanks for the memories. And uh, yeah. 
RIP Willie Lemon. Got any comments? Leave them below. You know the drill. Take care. Bye for now.